today we're doing some offshore bass fishing with the catch co box that I just got in. I got crankbaits, got big spoons, I got some bugs to crawl on the bottom. So let's go see what we can catch up out here. You know, right now I'm looking at some bait fish and then I've got some bass on the bottom right here. When you see fish like that, you can throw out a marker buoy or if you can just keep like a, a mental note in your mind where they are. You just want to go over those fish with the graph and then make a cast. And I'm on a power plant lake and the water's really hot, but whenever summer's here and the wind's not really blowing that good, it's always good to find either shade, um, current, or deep water. And I've got some current here coming out of the, the where the water comes out of the, the power plant. Even though it's really hot, fish will still maintain or hold in that because there's some current and it'll hold a little bit more oxygen than the rest of the lake. There's a fish right there. It's not a giant, but he'll, he'll do. There we go. Got one on that jig. Fishing it really slow. All right, got one on a football jig. Dragging it around, feels like a pretty decent one. Yeah, that's a big bass. That's a big bass, what that is. Get in here, baby. Yeah. Oh, here we go, guys. Got that one on the old structure bug. That's nice. Nice fish. Beautiful. I'm going to attempt to throw this big magnum spoon. Been wanting to catch a bass on one of these big spoons, and this seems like a decent place to do it. I'm throwing this thing on what I typically typically throw a Carolina rig on. It's a seven foot five inch heavy action rod, kind of like a jig rod. And I've got a high speed reel on here, eight two to one Corrado, and I've got 15 pound fluorocarbon on here. I like that high speed because the way I fish this thing, I keep it tucked in my armpit and I just reel the, the reel really fast to try to get it to jump off the bottom. I don't wear myself out doing that. Instead of doing this big stroking motion and putting slack in my line, I'll just reel it just like that, especially with this big magnum spoon. It takes up a lot of energy. Got him. There's a good one. Got him on that spoon. Man, he hit it kind of on the rise, which is weird. Ah, lost him. <laughs> I tell you guys, you lose so many fish on these big spoons, it's crazy. That wasn't a giant, so I'm not gonna get too upset. There's a good one. That's a good one there. Oh, it's gonna wanna come off. It's coming up to jump. I'm gonna do it. Come here. Ugh. There we go, guys. Golly, that's a fat one. Look at the size of that fish and look at the spoon. That's crazy. There's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a giant. This is a big one right here. This one has some shoulders, ladies and gentlemen. Got them on that Strike King uh, bottom crawler thing we call it jig. I forget what it's called. Oh, and he just freaking choked it. Oh yeah. Just, oh, I lost him. Ripped out. That was my fault. That was about a five pounder. I caught him on that though. That little guy. Shouldn't have tried to sling him. Oh, 
little guy. <sighs> guy bit it multiple times. Let me show you. See how he just ripped up my, my trailer like that? They're really thinking it's a crawfish and they're trying to shake it apart like that. Picking it up multiple times. Some big old bass is gonna bite because the wind is kicking up. There's like a little front that's happening, doing its thing. I found some fish earlier. They stopped biting and now I've got one. And it's a good one, or at least a decent one. Uh, there we go. He's skinny. Caught him on that uh, Buckeye Lures jig with that Strike King structure bug. I'm throwing this jig on a seven foot one fast action, heavy power rod. This is a G Loomis NRX right here. Hello, hello, hello big girl. Uh, hello. How are you today, big girl? Get up in here. Yeah. Love it. God. Gotta love catching a good bass like that, guys. Beautiful. Nice yellow. Not sure. It looks like it's been eating Cheetos or something. Still smells like a bass, though. Love it. Caught it on that jig, man. They like that mop jig. That's awesome. Let this one go back into the abyss. Yeah. Whew. I love catching bass, guys. All right, getting off the water. It's really, really hot, and I've noticed the fish are being just really lethargic. I could break out a drop shot or a shaky head or something like that and uh, really have to fish for them hard. Um, but they're just not biting right now, so I'm gonna head in. But I went out today with my Catch Company box. So let me tell you about Catch Company. It's from the people at Mystery Tackle Box, and it's a really cool concept of putting uh, certain techniques into a box. So if you're trying to get into uh, you know, finesse fishing or topwater fishing, or in today's case, offshore structure fishing, it gives you an opportunity to get all those baits in one box and at a, at a lower cost than, than you would having to go out and buy them individually. So like up to 30% off. So it's really nice. You get you go on the website. If you're already signed up for MTB, uh, it's make, they make it really easy for you to get into Catch Company, but it's, it's free to sign up. And then you can pick out your boxes and they ship within a couple of days. So you don't have to wait until a specific date for that box to ship out. So that's really nice. But today's box was the, the uh, offshore box or ledge box. It had a, a bunch of good baits in it. You know, the, the Strike King 8, 8XD, that was in there. I'm not a, a good deep cranker, but you got to have some big uh, deep diving crankbaits in the summertime. I threw this quite a bit today trying to dig down in that 15, 16 foot zone and didn't, really didn't get those fish to bite. But that's a really nice crankbait and that's something that you're going to use in a lot of ledge fishing situations. Look at this guy. You know, I caught a few fish on this today, but this is the Ben Parker Magnum Spoon. This is a giant spoon. It's designed for ledge fishing, offshore fishing. And really how you fish this is you just throw it out, let it sink to the bottom, and it does all sorts of crazy stuff when it's going down. And then you just hold your rod kind of at a 45 and reel it up a few times and let it flutter back down. It's got some giant uh, hooks on here. It's got a giant treble trocar hooks on here. Comes with a swivel on top and a big split ring. This thing has a ton of action. It's really heavy, but you want to make sure you have a big rod. I've sewn it on a seven, seven foot five heavy action rod. So you got to have the gear to throw it. But that thing looks like a big giant shad when it's sinking down. And I love throwing those, those uh, spoons, especially in stain to clear water on those deep, deep water lakes. Really works well. So another thing I caught him on today was the Strike King jointed structure head paired up with the structure bug. I got both of these things in the, in the box. Uh, this is a great little, little bait. You can flip this around, but it's, it's made for, for throwing on here. It's, this is a half ounce uh, structure head right here, and it just swings, it swivels. So I use this to fish around some riprap on a little ledge, 
and I ended up uh, hooking into some good fish on it. I, I lost a couple, of, I lost a really good one, about a five pounder. But this is a really good technique. I use this to follow up with a, a more traditional football head jig. If they don't want something that's got the big skirt on it, uh, they want more of a finesse profile, this is a good bait to throw, a lot of action on it. So this combination right here is really good. You get two to a pack on the uh, jointed structure head, so you got two of those in there. But just an excellent way to fish brush piles, rock piles, whatever you got out there. The last thing I got in my box was the Buckeye uh, mop jig. Now this is basically an old school rubber skirted jig. I trimmed it up just a hair. When this skirt gets in the water, that live living rubber, that old school rubber, it really flares out. So it gives a nice big profile. I paired that up with the structure bug. And as you can see, peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, it looks amazing. This is actually a three quarters right here. Makes it perfect for throwing uh, and, and dragging on the bottom. And I use that to fish around a rock ledge as well. But I love fishing those uh, kinds of baits in the summer. It's really easy to go on a catch company and get the box. Um, everything's laid out real simple. So if you want to finesse fish, if you want to topwater fish, if you want to get into fishing big worms, if you want to structure fish, it's all there for you. If you're trying to get into it or you're just looking for a little combination of baits, that's going to save you some money. Well guys, I enjoyed getting out here today and catching some offshore bass in the summer. It gets kind of tough to catch them around the bank. So it's always good to come out on the deep spots and catch them. And I enjoyed using my, my catch company box and trying out some new lures I hadn't caught fish on before. I'd, I'd been wanting to th throw this Magnum spoon and catch a few fish on it, so I did today. And it was just really fun. I hope you guys learned a little something. You log on to catchco.com, check out their selections, and uh, if you see something you like, see some new techniques you wanna learn, pick out a box, get it shipped, get it out in the water, and go catch some bass. Hope you guys enjoyed watching today, and I'll catch y'all later. Got him. Oh man, the boat flipping skills today are not on point. <laughs>